MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day soul. So enjoy and thanks for watching. We work on, buy, sell, restore, Mustang and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. All right, so what we've done here is I bought these, these crimpers, these big honking crimpers, and they crimp down on the wires. I got them for five bucks at the Pomona Swap Meet. And I'm just always like, you know, muscling, my knuckles are bothering me, I'm 48 years old. And I thought this would be a cool way to do crimping, because it seems very powerful. And guess what? It is. Look how hard it crimped this damn thing. Oh. It, it crimped it. it the, the, I, I used the medium part, and it crimped it so bad that I'm worried that I actually <laughs> broke through it. It feels pretty good right now, so I'm leaving it alone, and this is all going to be covered by loom. I want to see if this is a good connection, but I went to the outer setting. And I went to the widest one, and that's a good one. We're going to use that one for now on. But these two little tiny ones, man, they crimp in hard and small. <laughs> so this brown wire is now hooked up to this brown wire. Both these bulbs that are the running lights and the blinkers and the brake lights are three-wire bulbs. They have a green and a brown. This one has a green and a brown and a black for the ground. Somebody had this crazy idea of putting silicone in them. I'm picking out as much silicone as I can. And I took the silicone out of this one. If you zoom in on this one right here, get a, do an extreme Mustang Medic close-up. See that little tiny clip down there? Is it in focus, yes, Carlos? Yes. That little clip connects to this ground wire. I cut off all the rest of the mashugana down there that somebody was trying to rig up. I don't know what they were doing there. It doesn't look anything close to stock. So I've, if you zoom down here, Carlos, you'll see I've got a little clip right here, the, the stock one, and I've got this clip right here. I'm going to clip this one in because what I did was I checked it out and I pinched it, and look, it goes right on there. Uh -huh. So there's, uh-huh, uh uh Carlos, uh -huh. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to crimp it to this ground wire right here, and I think... If all goes well, this matching this the 72 wiring setup, it's great having a car. Thank you, Mr. Pizza Guy. Here's a little crossover for you on the 71 project. Um, thank you for uh, having the car here and the project. We're very grateful. And uh, your 72s given back to the 71. The Mustang community. Hurrah. All right. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Look, it looks like a little dinosaur. Roar! Okay, you can tell I've got kids. All right, here we go. Putting her in there. Works good, man. That's connected. That's nice. All right, so there's a little black wire. Make it nice and straight. And I'm putting it right here. Now, sh now all three wires are connected. Now I'm going to have Carlos hand me the camera, and he is going to go and turn the ignition on. And I didn't, I didn't pull the, the reverse bulbs out of the 72, I'm just going to buy my own, so we're going to get those today. We're going to see if the reverse light's working, that's a whole other electrical thing we get to deal with. But right now, Carlos is going to go put the ignition on, and he's going to test the brake light on the driver's side. All right, so here we go. I suspect that that's the brake light bulb because that's the work I just did. It wasn't working, so we're going to find out. So turn the ignition key uh, on and just pull, pull the lights out, the light switch all the way out. Okay, good news. We got lights on both. All right, now hit the brake lights, Carlos. Are you hitting the brake? Yes, I'm hitting. Hit it again? You're definitely hitting the brake, not the gas pedal, right? You're hitting the brake? The brake. Do it again? All right, so we still have no brake. So I'm suspicious that the switch is no good underneath the door, but we do have two running lights now, and it is wired up properly. So now uh, we have ordered a switch through Mustang Country, and when that switch comes, we're going to get into it and see. We're going to test the switch, but progress has been definitely made on the taillights today. I haven't got a brake light yet, but we got two running lights, so that's good news. All right, kill, kill it, Carlos. Mm -hmm. 
kill it. If it doesn't work on the other side, um, and it's just running running light, I'll, I'll be pretty sure it's a switch because no way both of them are going to be broken. So this is my next little challenge. I'm going to do the same thing over here that I did over here, and then we're going to switch out the switch and see if that fixes it. I'm thinking the brake switch uh, near the brake pedal is what's not working properly. But there's, there's power, which is great news. We're also going to get these reverse lights and test these and see if they're working. There. Fun with electric. Yes, fun with electric. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos also wanted to add this because you guys have been sweating with us through this whole project. What are you saying, Carlos? Now with the, with the cooler, a lot better. You gonna, that means you're going to work harder? Yes. Excellent. Harder. Yes. Excellent. Oh. Yeah. All right, so here we are. In my right hand is two marker lights, right and left. In my right hand is the running light, the running lights, brake lights not going on yet. We think it's a switch. And on the bottom by the tail light is the reverse lights. And I'm going to go out and get bulbs so we can test that and put it in reverse and hope to God that switch works. So there it is, guys. Progress. Yes. We're down to just brake lights left. That's the Woo! only ones that are not on. So leaving them loose, hanging loose like this. Getting lights. And uh, hopefully we'll break a bulb. But uh, there they are. We have light, extreme Mustang Medic close-up. These are the little joys in life that women will never understand. We told my wife, Carlos was like, look, look, we got the lights, we got the lights. Well, you know, it's quite sound like that, Carlos. But she's like, I don't care. <laughs> and she walked away. That's what my wife just did. Can, any, can anybody else relate? I think you can. All right, let's kill the ignition, uh, or let's turn off the lights now, Carlos. And also on the headlights, a viewer said that the reason it's going down is because the headlights are on and it's getting, it doesn't have enough power. So we're going to test it with the engine running. I got some really high intensity light bulbs in there and they're pulling too much amperage. And I think that's why they're shutting down and coming back on. Uh, so I think we got that problem fixed too. Thanks for watching. MustangMedic.com. This just in from Tambora. I'm not really pronouncing that right. I spent the day watching the entire 66 Coupe project. Very interesting and educational. Gave me something to do while in the Middle East. Keep them coming. Good work. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I'm assuming that you are in the services out there in the Middle East. And if you are, you're a great for your service. Thanks. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. mustangmedic.com